Guys, listen up. Here's the plan. Heard enough? More than enough. So this is how you and your sister repay me, huh? By plotting against me? No, Dad, wait. L listen, it's not like that at all. Uh, we're, we're victims here, too. Oh, really? I can't wait to hear this one. Oh, it's true. We were tricked into going along, and by the time we realized it, we were in too deep. So, who's the mastermind, then? Well, Dad, it's someone who's been a thorn in your side for a little while now. We are just over two weeks away from the Royal Rumble. Hello again, everybody. It's your barbecue-loving friend, good old JR Jim Ross, and the Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. Yes, we are at ringside, and Raw has been rocked by the revelation that our champion has been plotting against Mr. McMahon. I can't believe that idiot was stupid enough to try and sabotage the WWE chairman like that. And to make matters worse, he apparently recruited Mr. McMahon's own children for the conspiracy. I don't know what's going to happen, but I promise you, hell hath no fury like Mr. McMahon. The champion has overcome the odds and won the match. And his opponent does not look happy about it. Are you surprised? He just lost the match, and I'm sure Mr. McMahon's not going to be too happy with it. And we've seen in recent weeks what happens to superstars who get on Mr. McMahon's bad side. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of their careers, if they're lucky. But it seems as if the champion has survived Mr. McMahon's wrath here tonight. For the moment, JR, but only for the moment. This is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. The Royal Rumble is just over one week away. Hi, everybody. This is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross here with the King of Memphis, Jerry Lawler, at ringside. And tonight, our disgraced champion is in another no disqualification match. That's right. Some real raw royalty. And I'm not talking about me. Mr. McMahon has gone to great lengths to stack the deck against the champ. He hasn't even got started yet. Mr. McMahon's going to take his time and enjoy this. Uh-oh. I don't think we're done here yet. Of course not. He committed treason against Mr. McMahon. They hang people for treason. The champion is certainly getting hung up to dry here tonight. No surprise there. I know a thing or two about royalty, and those two are as close as you get in this business. And there he goes. That's what you call taking out the trash, JR. It's good to be the kings. Gentlemen, I can't wait to see what you do to that traitor in your championship match this Sunday. Yeah, and the best part will be when I bring his championship back to SmackDown with me. To SmackDown? That championship is staying right here on Raw. Look, no offense, but you're not even in my league. Don't put your grubby hands well, for on sudden. me. All right, Let's go Matt, right now. stop it. Fine with me. Both of you. Oh, my gosh! That was your fault. My fault? You're the one who shoved him. I was trying to get him out of your way. You expect me to believe that? Welcome to Raw. We're just six days away from the Royal Rumble. Hi, everyone. It's good old JR Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler at ringside. And Kingfish, it seems as if everyone's getting on Mr. McMahon's bad side lately. As fired up as the chairman is these days, that's not hard to do. And that has led to a cross-brand, no disqualification, handicap match tonight. Not to mention a triple threat championship match this Sunday. This is getting ugly. Sunday could be a different story. 
I can just about guarantee it. And it's not going to have a happy ending for the champ. This is it. The Royal Rumble. Get ready to crown a new champion tonight. I just hope that SmackDown doesn't walk out of here with the title. That won't happen. Have a little faith in Raw, will you? Three of the WWE's greatest superstars square off for the championship tonight, live on pay-per-view. I hate giving this guy the least bit of credit, but that was as impressive a victory as I've ever seen. The uncrowned king of Raw remains uncrowned. I'd rather have seen SmackDown take that loss, but at least the championship stays here on Raw. I can't imagine Mr. McMahon would be too happy about this victory, though. No kidding. I'm glad to be sitting next to you and not next to the chairman right now. The champion still has Mr. McMahon to deal with. But for tonight, at least, he remains a true king of sports entertainment. Enjoy it while it lasts, fella.